Hey Vibes fam, welcome back to my channel where good food and good vibes is a must. I pray all is well with you guys. Let's get started. On today's menu, we have aki and saltfish fritters. And here are the ingredients that I will be using. Some self-rising flour, my aki, salt fish, and some cook up, cook up stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is put my salt fish to boil. I normally boil it two times. So this is after the first time and I'm going to pour off the water. And now I'm adding some fresh boiling water onto it. So yeah, and then make it boil a second time. Now I'm going to prepare my onion and sweet peppers that I'm going to be adding to my fritters. Just cut these according to your liking, but it's fritters so they normally fine anyway. But as I always say, we all do things differently, so just do you but I like them to be nice and fine, right? Yeah. So we are doing some green and some red. I never add no yellow because through the Aki yellow. <laughs> And of course, my favorite is the green. So the green always have in them no matter what. So my salt fish is all done. So I'm gonna pour off the water and set it to cool. So now I'm opening my can of Aki. As usual, wash the top, dry it off and open it very serious about washing off the can you don't know what crawl on it so if you guys don't normally do it please maybe just do it so i'm pouring my aki in the colander so i can rinse it off with some hot water i always fill my kettle and use all the hot water to pour on my aki and then set it aside to cool well i mean if i was just going to be cooking up the aki like the regular way you know my regular aki and saltfish then i wouldn't set it aside to cool but since i'm putting it into the fritters batter then it needs to be cool so that's why i'm doing that so here it is put it down so i'm spraying a bit of oil into my frying pan and I'm going to add the onions and sweet peppers. Now guys, I do this, I do it this way because the flavor of them pop out way more than if you just add them so to the to the fritters butter. Right? That's my opinion. So I'm gonna saute these and add a little more oil and then set it aside to cool as well so yeah trust me when you saute the, the sweet pepper them and stuff man listen the flavor them just i mean them just kick out them just come through just a kick some and know who bad them up who says something to them will offend them but trust me them come out kicking and i love it so that's why I tend to do it this way than to just add them so cut them up and add them but if you want to do it that way and especially for safe time go ahead so let's pick, 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 pick up the salt fish by the way comment down below and tell me if you remove the black skin of the salt fish well I mean black white green any skin you remove the skin of the salt fish or do you keep it on there i'm sure that 
I'm going to have somebody. I'm sure some people leave the skin on, right? And that's okay. Maybe it's just something where you never ever think about or you just keep it on. But I mean, it's all good. It all comes down to preference. Just like how some people eat chicken skin and some people don't. <laughs> Either way, it's all good. Do you, we all do we. And that's what makes us unique and more lovable. So to me, that's fine. So yeah, I'm picking out the bones. And of course, as I know, I'm going to get rid of the skin. But I'm mostly going in for them bones. Because my babies be eating this. And I do not mean I want a bone stop at them trot. So I am picking out every single one of them. No bones welcome around here. So now that everything is ready, let's get to mixing up the fritters. So I used a total of one and a half cups of self-rising flour. I didn't really pay attention to the amount of water because I was so focused on getting the consistency of the butter the way that I know it should be. Right? So sorry vibes fam. I'm sorry. I don't know how much water I added. So yeah. Add the water. And I'm just combining everything. Trying to get it to the right kind of thickness I need. And to ensure that it is smooth and get rid of all them lumps and bumps i don't like lumps and bumps so i'm getting rid of all of them right so rub out rub out rub out rub out rub it out stir 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 rub 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 okay so now i'm going to add my aki and then my onion and sweet peppers yes add them in add them in every drop yes girl get them in there and mm, my salt fish and mix it all together and next i'm going to add some roasted garlic and pepper seasoning oh can i tell you this thing right here is so so amazing love it love 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 it so yeah some of that in there then i'm gonna add a little salt now guys be careful with the salt if you salt fish salt if you never boil it out properly or i mean if it's salt then you might want to reconsider adding the salt so stir up everything and at the same time pre the consistency of the batter right because you need it for thicken all right so i added some black pepper and yeah you can cut up some scotch bonnet pepper in there if you wish i didn't do that because my babies are gonna be eating this and i do not want them to bite into that so yeah here it is mm -hmm. so i'm adding some oil to my frying pan and I'm going to add my batter. So I use my big kitchen spoon. It's bigger than a regular tablespoon that you use to eat. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And you just make your fritters them according to the size that you would want. I don't want them too small, but not too big. You know, one nice, one nice little size. Here they are up close. Let's flip them, the ones that are golden brown, flip them over. And 
one as usual me and this fork i don't know why i didn't use that egg lifter well i purposefully use this actually because i just i think it would be easier yes look at them Flip them golden brown ones. Look on the red sea pepper pop out. Come to ready. Are you so ready? No one they could have stayed and get like a more brown in our skin. But hey, we are gonna flip them again and flip them and flip them. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter so i placed um a what you call it paper towel into the plate and then i'm just putting them in the plate to drain off the excess oil so yeah So some people wait um, till they take out all of the ones that are finished before putting in the rest of the butter but I don't be doing it that way but if it works for you go ahead there's no wrong or right way really trust me guys if you are a Aki lover then it is gonna be all that and a bag of chips for you you are gonna love these by the way i love my fritters to be crispy yeah nice and crispy kind of too much on the brown side can be extra brown but that's how i like it Flip him over, yes. Last one out. We're done. Run, run, run. Vibes fam on a run come peep over ya so the little bit <laughs> come check out these beauties now man uno come check out them ati aki fritters yeah what am i saying me can't even talk them look so pretty me not have words come check them out and them say video light appearance uno come true with uno pretty self on a fritter's skin looks so clean and pretty like say a beer water on a drink no on a skin look good i uh, only say pretty skin is a must vibes fam on a have to try the recipe here on a have to try it if you love fritters you're gonna love it and if you love aki then for sure i just be your love <laughs> but guys thanks so much for watching my video and for hanging out with me i don't take it lightly i do appreciate it i really do like the video share it with somebody yes look at that plate so go and go click the share button and send it to somebody right now to my new watchers please subscribe don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss a video god bless you